And something I also want to point out in terms of best practices for maintaining these labels, uh, when you create your templates, you may have templates that you want to revise and make changes to. It's best practice not to delete those, um, those old templates, uh, mainly because when it comes time to reporting, you can show whatever accrediting body, this, is, this was the previous document that we started at, and here's the new version that we have made changes to, so that you can show the accrediting body your progress towards development and growth. Okay. So within your labels, you would probably want to create a current version of templates and an old version of templates. And there you can house the current version that you're using and the previous ones that you have used. Oh, okay. That's just a best practice so that you're not throwing anything out. And what's nice about live text is that you have an endless amount of, of memory so that you don't have to worry about um, ever throwing anything out to create new space. Okay? So best practice, create a, a current and old uh, template folder. Okay? Um, and again, when you are creating those new versions, you'll definitely want to create some kind of naming convention for whatever assemb uh, assignment that you're uh, making changes to, or I'm sorry, whatever template you're making changes to. So if I were to make a change to this, I would probably add at the end version 2. And if I made changes to that, go forth with version 3. Okay? So naming conventions and assigning them to different labels will be good in terms of keeping organized and in terms of reporting to accrediting bodies. Okay? And one last thing that I wanted to go through, you may notice that um, when uh, students start to begin their assignments or when you've created an assignment within your Okay, I'm sorry. I just wanted to see something really quickly. So from within the admin tab, you have um, the courses that are being taught. And for this particular course and this assignment, um, this is where I wanted to go. Okay. So, oh, this one I don't have it. Let me go back real quick. Apparently, the button that I want to click is in here. Okay. When you have your assignment um, and you've created your assignment bundle, skeleton basically that will hold your assignments, students will go in and they'll see the use this template. That's a different kind of template. The course template that um, they will be choosing from is basically a template that the faculty will have created for that particular class. It's not necessarily a domain template where everyone in the school or in the institution will be using it. The template that's being addressed when it says use this template is simply a template that you've created temporarily for that assignment for that particular class. Okay. So when they use this template, it's simply the assignment that you've created, and the student can then go in and alter that information for their purposes. And that's the assignment that will be handed in to that particular instructor for that particular course. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. Are there any questions about templates? Yes. No. Okay. Um, well, that just about covers it for me. Joe, was there anything that you wanted to add for templates? Um, 
That sounds good. Okay. All right. Well, um, that sums it up for me. If there's anything that you want to talk about, feel free to stay on the line, and I'd be more than happy to stay on and talk about it with you more. Okay. Well, thank you. That was helpful. You're welcome. Was that Judy? 